Right, welcome everyone to a special edition of the beer review with me, Ruku. Never done anything like this, I've never seen anyone on YouTube do anything like this, so as far as I know, I am the first in the world to do this. Um, what is this monstrosity? <laughs> it's the all famous Pink Elephant, my favourite, or one of my favourite beers of all time. Uh, this is Delirium Tremens, done a review on it before, but this is no ordinary Delirium Tremens, this is a 5 litre keg. There you go, 8.5, you can see there it's 5 litre, um, a beautiful design, this cost me quite a bit of money, um, but I'm just going to show you the ins and outs, and I'll be pouring, it's a self pour, um, I believe you flip that round, that comes up and that comes out and your, your beer comes from here, um, it's got a nice little handle, so you can carry it anywhere you want to a party, or if you're like me, um, just going to be drinking the whole lot to yourself, because you're a greedy bastard. <laughs> there you go, there's an instruction manual on the side, can we get that? It's so bright here today. That's what the end result looks like. I don't know if you're picking any of this up. You can see it, you're supposed to leave this for like 10 hours um, and chew it to 4 to 7 degrees. Um, and it's it stays fresh for 30 days. I'm getting that in there, 30 days. Um, 30 days guaranteed quality, and this is the bit that I really love. On the other side of this, look at that. How beautiful is that? And then, a bit of history for you. And there's the family brewers that made this, I do believe. Their sketches. Yeah, it does, I don't know what's in this. It, doesn't, it does say, but uh, it's all in, uh, I think that's Dutch. It just says, easy to use, pour from tap, which will activate in a minute. So, got my glass ready. I'm going to do this carefully, so I need to get this seal somehow. Let me open this seal. Fucking hell, this is really fiddly. I mean, why do they do this? A little seal like this, I don't know. Alright, I think that's officially broken, didn't you? Alright, so apparently we've got to turn this. I oh, know we don't, we, we pull this out. No, we don't. It lied to us. Okay, hang on, let me figure this out. This That does not fucking open for shit. It, it lied to me, it's telling me to pull this out and it's lying to me because it's not pulling out. Let me activate the CO2. Maybe that'll do it, hang on, two secs. Right, okay, so I managed to get that away from there. That pulls out. Quite a lengthy looking tap. Right. Not bad. So you have to move this away a little bit first before you can open this. So this will now activate it. Oh boy. How far does this go? <laughs> I just love playing with instructions. Yeah, that's as far as it's going. That doesn't look right on the picture though. The picture looks different. Okay, so a little quick check. Hang on. Okay, so, a bit of brute force later, and that actually does go all the way around. Uh, very stiff because, and you did hear a little noise to activate the CO2. So hopefully that's activating. Usually with kegs like these, they are, the froth comes out, so the first pint's probably going to be froth, but um, we'll get through that hopefully. I'm just going to uh, set you up and we'll show you the pour. I don't know how this works. I don't want to fucking... Yeah, I'm going to stick that under there just in case because I don't want to activate this and it spurts out everywhere. Okay, so there's a there's a lever. Just pulled that up a little bit. There you go, look. So, right, we're in business. Right, give me two seconds. And I'm going to move you guys. We can see this. Hopefully you can see the pool fans. Here we go. To the first delirium. Here we go. Oh, look at that. 
It's pure froth, like I said. Pure froth. It's pure froth, but it's settling nicely. And we just see it there coming through. I did say this before that the, the pressure is a bit too much uh, for this. So, as we can see, as I said, the froth is a little bit too much for this. It's, just, it's still dripping. Obviously, the drip's happening. It always goes like this on your first pour um, because of the CO2 builds up and obviously where it's been sat for a while. But you can see the beer there, still the same. It's just massive head and the head actually looks nice and creamy. This looks really like, I can imagine it as if you'd get it in Belgium. Stick that down and that, whoa, 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 whoa. Push that back in. Like that and you can save it for another day, but there you go. That is the uh, the final look of it. Obviously, this will settle in time, so don't worry; it's not going to be huge. There's your head. Look at it. That looks creamy as hell. Have it, fans. Um, there's the five liter beauty, and now it's had time to settle. You can really see that it's gone down and it does level out. So although it looks all froth at the start, it's not. It does settle down. So let's try this from the keg and see what this tastes like. See if this is as good as draft or is it better than bottle or is this just a complete waste of time and money? Let's find out. Oh my god. That is good. Oh wow. That is, uh, the head is a lot more creamier. The head's a lot more creamier when you drink it. It's the same flavours as before. Slight stronger alcohol kick, I'm finding, um, from the keg. That head is thick, it's creamy, it's just beautiful, it's foamy, it's everything you want. So I can imagine this tasting exactly as it is from Belgium off the tap and with that lacing it's it's really awesome really awesome mm. so what can we take away from this five litre keg well if you want one then you've got to search for it I bought this online and this set me back uh, about about it's about 25 30 quid uh, that's English pounds, euro was about, was it 50 euro or something like that, which yeah, works out about 30, 30, US, uh, 30 pounds, as in Great British pounds. Um, it can last for 30 days. It's self pour, you've got your tap where you can just pour from. Um, it's portable, so you can carry it around anywhere. Um, and it will hold approximately 10 to sort of maybe 11, 12 pints of beer. <coughs> in my previous experience, of drinking the Heineken kegs that are readily available here in the UK and you can buy them in, in Sainsbury's um, your Heineken kegs that is uh, for about 20 quid um, and they are the same but each keg varies each keg has a different pouring system some come out of the bottom here like the Heineken one there's a tap you have to assemble that comes up here and it just constantly dangles you can't retract it um, and you've got a little lever where you, you do that and your beer comes out this is probably the best design I've seen whereby it tucks away nicely, you know, there's no spillage, there's no uh, thing around the tap to get it dirty or mouldy or anything like that, so it looks quite clean. Um, I'm supposed to refrigerate these for, for a few hours, but obviously, realistically, being the size that they are, not many people are going to have room in their fridge, and their shelves probably wouldn't support them because they are quite heavy despite the look of it, it is actually quite heavy. Um, but yeah, what a beautiful drop. You can get various ones of these, and they are hard to find. Um, here in the UK, you can actually buy the Heineken ones. You can now buy, I think, like the Hobgoblin as well. 
um, online you can buy the uh, Desperados mini kegs. So yeah, keep keep an eye out for them. But if you like me and you like something different, then spend a bit of money like I have and get yourself something decent. Because this truly is not only a decent beer by a decent company, a decent brewery, but just the look of the keg, I've seen nothing like it before. The design on the keg is, is beautiful, sticking with the pink elephant and the blue. The tap system, the, the CO2 bit, it's incredible. I don't think that goes back. There you go. It does go back. <laughs> don't know what that does, but I'm just going to do it anyway. So it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So do you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it again. So before I sign off, I'm going to give myself another top up. There you go. Was it worth the money? Yes, it was. You can be your own bartender at home and drink as much as you need. Best bit is, there's no queuing. Join me next time, fans, for some more beer reviews. If you like this demonstration of a keg, give me the thumbs up in the description below. All comments are welcome. Any questions you want to ask, I'm here to uh, answer them. So, I hope you've enjoyed this review, and as I say, it's been a first for me, and it's a first, I think, for YouTube as well. Thanks for watching, fans. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos.